Hey everyone, here's my review for Naughty Bear, the new whatever kind of genre game uh, this is really under. I don't know, stealthish, action, childish, uh, kind of psychotic, I don't know. This is a new game. I've been waiting for this game for a little while. Why? Because I am sick and I've been seeing these trailers and gameplay videos. And I'm like, wow, I'm really, really, really anticipating this game. It's also a somewhat budget title. It was only 50 bucks besides 60. I bought it and I played it a lot. What did I think of Naughty Bear? I'll tell you right now during the review. So let's go on to the story of Naughty Bear. Okay, now the story of Naughty Bear. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. That's the narrator. Uh, that's the narrator of this game. That's how he talks. <laughs> hey, Naughty Bear. No, I'm just kidding. The story of Naughty Bear, really, there isn't much of a story. I mean, there is. Don't get me wrong. But it's not really like, oh, my God, freaking Academy Award winning story. Uh, the story is Naughty Bear. You play Naughty. Uh, Naughty the Bear. Naughty Bear, whatever. You play Naughty, and, you know, he's just he's, he's just a bear in a bear world of paradise. I think that's what the island's called. And he's there, you know, he's just, uh, he's walking around. And he sees one time there that all the other bears are having a birthday party, and he's wondering why he wasn't invited. So, what he decides to do, well, pretty much the narrator tells him, go to the party even though you weren't invited. And he goes with a present, and he gets laughed at and made fun of. He's pretty much the dork of the island. Okay, he goes home, he's like all upset. The narrator says, you should do something about it. He gets upset, destroys that present he made, and goes out and starts killing everybody. And the story just escalates after that. After that, freaking, you see zombies, aliens, you see freaking zombies, and they're all bears, by the way. You see zombie bears, alien bears, you see all kind of bears, you see police, you see army bears, you just see regular bears, you, you can destroy these bears, you can flush them down the toilet, you can destroy them in any way, and that's pretty much the story of Naughty Bear. He plays Naughty, and he's angry because he didn't get to go to a birthday party, and no one likes him. So, I guess... Guess that's the story. I actually enjoyed the story. It's very funny. It is funny. It's not the best out there, obviously, but it's actually really funny. It gets you through the game, definitely. I'm not saying the game's bad, but it gets you through the game. So let's go on to the sound of Naughty Bear. Okay, now the sound of Naughty Bear overall, I have to say, definitely fit the game. I mean, all the cutesy sound effects that the bears do, and they don't have their own language, obviously. They they go, you know, they talk like that. They talk like a... Uh, The Sims, you know, The Sims, they talk like, I'm like, what the hell are they saying? And I'm like, I, I understand why bears will talk like, hey, me, 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 me. okay, I mean, teddy bears, come on, teddy bears, first of all, bears can't talk, teddy bears can't fucking move, so, you know, I get, I understand why they definitely won't be able to speak, but a Sim, come on, a Sim, a sim is a person, okay? Whatever, the voiceovers for the naughty, the, I mean, the naughty bears, just the bears overall, I thought they were good. Now, the narrator's voice, that's where I get into the awesomeness. Now, I, I'll tell you right now, I love the narrator in this game. He's so, he's so nice sounding that he's psychotic. He is psychotic. The narrator is like, you want to invite a naughty bear? Oh, I think you should do something about that naughty bear. And he's pretty much, he's the voice inside naughty's head that's pretty much telling him to go and kill every single one of these bastards. Okay? And I love that. I love that freaking craziness in, in this game where it's like, oh my god, he, he is hearing things and he is completely disturbed. This is a teddy bear that you don't want to fuck with, okay? See, I just bleeped myself out, even though I probably cursed a lot before. But anyway, this is a teddy bear you want to you want F with. So, yeah. Sound overall, I have to admit, was fantastic. Let's go on to the graphics of the game. Okay, now the graphics in the game, now this is where a lot of people are like, oh my god, this is one of the worst looking games ever. <laughs> I thought the graphics fit the game perfectly. I mean, I don't want to see a realistic looking Naughty Bear. I want to see a cartoony one. And I can see how people were like, oh, even all the all the freaking uh, models in the game are uh, jaggedy and stuff. I can see that, and there's a lot of glitches also. I got a couple game killing glitches, but I'll get that to the gameplay, okay? But I have to admit, the graphics are decent for what they are, okay? For a budget title, they're better, they're better than Deadly Premonitions, I'll tell you that. At least this one makes sense for this. I mean, it's a cartoony world, and they don't hurt your eyes at all. It looks kind of nice, actually. I think it looks nice. I, sure, it could be done on a PS2 or Xbox, but I still think they're okay. So I'm not going to give it a high score. I'll give it like a 6 or 6.5 or something, whatever. I'm still going to say they're not that bad. So let's go on to the gameplay of this game. 
Okay, now the gameplay in Naughty Bear, I have to admit, is really fun. Now, I'm just going to say it right there. It's really fun, but I can see people, all the reviewers saying it gets really repetitive. Let me explain how the gameplay works. You have a hack and slash button. You could go around hacking and slashing these uh, bears, but the most important part is to get naughty points, which is pretty much you don't kill them right away. You just scare the living hell out of them and then kill them or let them kill themselves. Yes, you can let them kill themselves. If they have no weapon in their hands, they just explode. If they have a weapon in their hand, they're going to use that and kill themselves. That's only if you scare them enough. But you're supposed to get naughty points, which is like throwing someone in a... Like, I mean, pretending to throw someone in a freezer or something or scaring someone when they're, like, fixing something or something. You can sabotage things and make everybody like, oh, what? I'm going to go fix this because we might need it later. And then Naughty Bear just goes, I'm going to eat you. And he just runs away. I probably sound like a retard. Uh, all my neighbors are like, what the hell, man? Uh, so, yeah. I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, really, that's all you do in the game, really. You just sabotage stuff, destroy stuff, kill bears or scare them. Scare them enough, kill them, scare them enough until they kill themselves. That's pretty much it. Use a lot of stealth. Uh, you also have about seven episodes. Uh, each one's about 20 minutes, I would say. Not very long game, but each episode has its own challenges also, which I guess you really can't count as a story mode. But it has its own set of challenges, like one challenge might be don't get spotted, or one challenge might be kill them in a certain way or something. One might be just do it, like, where they kill themselves, you know, that one's really cool. Or just do one where you just kill everybody, just kill them, get, get as many points, that's it. And I love that one, that one's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, overall, the gameplay is really fun. I could see where people would be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I didn't get to play the multiplayer mostly because there's barely anybody playing it, and when I got into a game, it just automatically kicks you out, so that's a problem. And also, the game-killing glitches. This is what I was talking about. There's a couple glitches where sometimes it froze. Sometimes when I pause the game, it just froze. Sometimes uh, there's bears that are supposed to be there, but they're not there, so I couldn't play anymore. I had to restart it. Big problem, but... Don't get me wrong. It is fun to do these levels over. And there's also another problem. You don't have checkpoints. So if you go to another area and you just did one area and you're going to another one and you die, you have to start that whole mission over again. Which, again, isn't a big problem for me because I, I enjoy playing it over again. But it is a big problem when the game freezes and I'm about to beat the freaking episode or I'm, like, wandering to a freaking, uh, the end of it. And I'm about to, like, ooh, I'm, like, two steps away from beating it. And I'm like, uh, oh, son of a whore. Anyway, yeah. So, overall, I still like Naughty Bear. For a budget title, for the $10, cheaper it is, I recommend it. I recommend you rent it first and then play it. I mean, and then if you really like it, then buy it. But for now, it's a rent, definitely. I really like Naughty Bear, and it, it it didn't disappoint, I have to admit. I wasn't expecting anything great. I was expecting something fun, and it was really fun. Overall, I recommend it. That is my review. Look in the description for the full written review, and goodbye. Awesome Electrocution!